YouTube channel. I know my first video was just pretty much me talking, so this is gonna be like a real full exciting video. We're gonna hit a leg day, but just to go over kind of like everything I'm going through right now, just like what what's going on in my life. I got my pro card last July, so July 2021, and it's been, oh gosh, I can't do the math right now, but like six, seven months. So basically since then, we've just been growing. I had no intentions of doing a show this year just because of the amount of mass I need to put on. But after talking with my coach, we might, maybe, 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 might do one at the end of the year, depending on um, where I'm at. Right now, the goal is just to get my glutes as big as we possibly can before the end of the year, and then we'll see what happens. My current split right now, it was two leg days a week. Now we've cranked it up to three, but it really just depends on my recovery. So some days I'm able to get in Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Some days I literally can't walk. Today's Wednesday. I hit legs last on Saturday and I'm still in pain. We're going to push through. We'll be fine. But um, it really just depends on the week. I, I kind of just go based off my body and then throw in upper body days during the rest because honestly my upper body right now needs to just be maintained. Everything needs to be maintained except my glutes. So upper body days are kind of just fun little pump sessions at this point which I'm okay with but um, yeah leg days are really what we're taking serious right now. Um, no cardio, 10k steps a day and then food is pretty high right now. We're at 2700 cows. During prep I was at like 1700 roughly um so we're about a thousand up from that in the off season um and going for about a pound a week weight wise i just finished my warm-up so my warm-up i'm an old lady it's like 30 minutes long i usually walk on the treadmill get a good sweat going i'll foam roll do a really good dynamic warm-up and then because i don't activate my glutes well and if you've seen my instagram you know like i'm extremely quad dominant i have a really hard time getting my glutes to fire so i usually do a ton of band work before my workout it's not necessary for a lot of people, but for me, in order to get the mind-muscle connection before my training, I pretty much just destroy my glutes and then go into my workout, and I tend to activate them a lot better. Right now, we're going to do 100 banded hip bridges and then 100 banded um, lateral steps, but we're not going to film that because I'm going to be here for a good 20 minutes. We got five rounds of that, um, but yeah, then we'll jump into it. and. As far as like training intensity goes, I know that that's like a big deal, is, especially with my clients, is knowing their training intensity because with online coaching, I don't know how hard you're pushing in the gym and I just expect people to be pushing as hard as I do, which is an unrealistic expectation for most people. So hopefully seeing training intensity in this video will kind of help you know where you should be and if you're pushing hard enough or not. Um, and then also your faces. Like, I'm sorry, but my training faces are rough. So y'all are about to see the full raw footage, not the Instagram stuff. Um, so just be prepared for that. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, warm up is done. We just hit a hundred bridges, banded bridges. I'm so breath, I'm so shaky. A hundred um abductions and we actually threw in some squats in there. Um banded squats just glute activation and firing and my glutes are literally on fire. We've done 
two sets of hip thrusts so far. So usually my first exercise on glute day will always be, well, every day is glute day. It'll be some sort of hip thrust variation though. Um, and for me, I honestly feel my quads and my hamstrings more than my glutes, even in a hip thrust. So I do more of a cast bridge style. So I'm only going down about halfway and then driving my glutes up just because I notice the further down I get, the more quad tension or the more tension I'm putting on my quads. Um, so we've done two warm up sets, but today's style are pause reps. So I'm driving the bar up, holding for three seconds, and then slowly lowering on the eccentric. We're only doing like five to six reps, and then we'll do a burnout set at the end. I typically do like really heavy days on Mondays, just because I'm fresh for the week. And then kind of as the week progresses, my volume decreases just because my body starts breaking down more and more. But um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm kind of at the point in my training where the newbie game phase is over and for me to actually put on mass I have to go like past failure. Like failure is no longer good enough. So when I hit failure, like my own mechanical failure, my body's kind of used to that, like it's complacent. So I have to push past that basically either with a spotter or just things that I can load, load, load up the weight and be able to push through. Like a hip thrust, 
it's hard because once you can't push anymore, like you don't have anything to, to drive up with. To wear a squat, like I can use my entire body to stand up, like I have a, a good end point. Um, so I throw these in here, this is pretty much my only lunging movement. I'll do Bulgarian sometimes, but other than that, everything is super glue, hammy focused. Yeah, these are hell. I love them, but they suck. So, let's get it done. Okay, going up a little bit. This is like a mixture between I want to load the shit out of the bar and I also got to focus on hitting my glutes and not my quads. So it's kind of trial and error. But every time I do a squatting motion, just like for fun or to try it out, my coach goes here and I look up and he's there. Like it doesn't matter when I'm doing it, I'll be squatting and I'll be like a mid squat and look up and we make eye contact. Shit. So I gotta be very careful when I'm at this gym. When I'm at 24, it's, we're good. But uh, <laughs> yeah. So set two, and I usually do about three working sets of these. I don't go too crazy just because, again, my quads um, and their health. But yeah, let's get it. gonna grow that's what I'm working. I tell you when I train I go to like my dark place like I don't know how people on Instagram train with a straight face like I go to my my inner um, my inner demon <laughs> and tell myself I'm fucking here and the weight is light and then we get it done dude I can't think right now hold on mm -hmm. I gotta go to the bathroom these are the VersaGrip Pros. They are cheaper on their website, but then shipping is like $10.99. So technically overall on Amazon, if you have Prime, they're a lot cheaper. Um, but basically, they're just so easy. You slip your hand in, and then all you're gonna do is wrap around the handle like this, and then it prevents you from being able to drop it. So a lot of people like to grab, like, let me see, like under their calluses, and it slips out. You really want to grab like with your fingertips and then wrap around and that way you kind of have like a little hook rather than on your calluses where it's like falling off and mine are not that bad but <laughs> it's pretty rough okay so next set <laughs> Hold on. It's the Eric Coffee Creamer Oval 
something like that. And hey, butter. I'm actually eating some food today, so it's an accomplishment. Shout out your company. Yo, hey. Come I, on. I feel like I can because you're with Legion. No, nah, shout out your company. All right, y'all go follow us on the gram at Amp Subs. That's what I'm doing right now. So mm -hmm. I'm on break, but I'm still working. So go follow us, buy some proteins, if you work out anything you want, code Ogle, run it up. <laughs> Correct, what he said. Yeah. Post workout is this super exciting chicken and rice with Jihu sauce. <laughs> and what do you have? Uh, breakfast tacos Way from Alpha Eats. But I'm on my. No gluten, no dairy, and no eggs. So basically everything that's in that, I am not eating right now. And is it helping? No. No, it's not, but it's fine. We're going with it. And then post-workout, also Legion Recharge, Coquela, run it up. You can run up both of ours, Amp Subs or Legion, or both. Hey, um, Coquela Ogle. Coquela Ogle, exactly. We cut the workout short today just because kind of short on time, but usually I would add like hyper extensions, abductions, some sort of cable kickback movement at the end of my glute day. And I kind of just rotate through those three each Monday, Wednesday, Friday, different um, volume, different variations. But I'll always have like three main compound movements that I can really load up the weight. And then after that, I'll do my accessory lifts and um, get my steps in, cool down, stretch, everything, get my post-workout meal in. And then we're good to go. All right, guys, that's a wrap for YouTube video one. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment below and share this video. Um, hopefully many more to come. I'll get a little more creative for y'all, but basically that's kind of what a training session looks like for me. So a good, honestly, my warm up's about 45 minutes, get a lot of activation in, um, about three compound movements, and then some accessory lifts, and then we get a cool down, post-workout, and that's about it. The rest of the day I'm pretty sedentary, so I try to kind of get all my activity level or all my activity in to this one like three hour session. Sometimes I'm here longer, but I always bring my food. Um, and as far as like fuel goes for training, I get this question a lot. I would recommend putting 25% of your carbs pre and post workout. That's where like all your energy source should be put throughout the day because that's when you're going to use it, at least for me, because I sit the rest of the day. I try to put as many carbs as I can pre and post workout and then intra workout if you want to do that as well. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you today and I hope you'll enjoy this video and we will see you next time.